be sure to allow me to introduce you to these sheep. When we first arrived at our Airbnb, we were greeted by this lineup of three sheep who stared at Ian as he parked the car. I later learned from the owner of the farm that the three sheep are sisters, all clinically obese, who have never had any lambs. They are just living out their years on this farm with their loving owners. I came to call them the obese spinster sheep sisters. Good morning. Sorry, I was distracted by a rooster or a cockerel, depending on where you live. Um, we are near Falmouth, Cornwall, and we're staying in this fabulous old mill that's an Airbnb. And you can see a little bit of the mill and the wheel there behind me. And um, we were awakened. Or little before seven this morning by some cockerels, cockadoodle doing. And there's all kinds of fabulous animals on this farm. So I'm looking forward to filming them during our stay here. And right now we're headed off to St. Ives to look for yummy things to eat. This doorway to the old mill is so beautiful. But of course I have to draw your attention to a very special feature of the doorstep. There is a wee little hedgehog made out of stone, just like on my doorstep back in Texas. I have a hedgehog made out of stone. I'm inserting a photo of the little stone hedgehog on my doorstep in Texas. The funny thing about this is that my mom-in-law brought it over to us from England. She was interrogated by the chap at the airport that trip who said, what do you have in your luggage, rocks? The other thing that I find fascinating about this front door is that there is no doorknob on the outside. There is a very old fashioned lock on the inside and when the owners leave, they lock up from the inside and leave through another door. I was really puzzled when I walked up to this door for the first time and was trying to figure out how to open it. This is the window in the room we stayed in. I love the super thick stone walls of the building and the lovely sunlit window seat in our room on the upper floor. It was from this window that I filmed the alarm clock sounding off in the morning. Here is the alarm. And now the snooze. In case the first two didn't wake you. He was a very loud bird with quite lovely feathers. Little did I know what would come next. Now let's check in with the animals at bedtime. This is how I get welcomed at the end of a long exhausting day by this pack of incredibly noisy geese. Hi there geeseys. I got no food for you. You're ready for bed. Are you always the first to turn in? Let's see what the sisters are doing. They're still, they're still munching on grass. They don't want to go to bed. Well, hello. Did you want to come out here and say hello? Are you Bunny? Do you want to come out and say hello, Bunny? I'm not fat. I'm just fluffy. You know that I caught you trying to steal the geese food and you're a bit sheepish. I know. Oh, but here they come. Here come the geese. Night, night.
night, geese. How are you doing, ladies? Where's Bunny? Bunny's more friendly than you are. Where's your sister? One of the last three sisters are coming in. This is the Magenta Bat 4. What are the odds that we're staying at an Airbnb and the owners have a bat detector and it's called Magenta? I mean, honestly, what are the odds? So that noise is, what is it supposed to do? When you hear the noises, it'll tell you, you'll be able to identify which type of bat it is. Oh my based goodness. Based on the, the kilohertz. The frequency. Oh my goodness. So, so Ian is wandering around the farm now, seeing if he can track down bats. Bat tracking. He's Batman. The next morning, it was time for us to bid farewell to the mill farm and head to our next destination. So I took one last walk around the property, enjoying the little stream that runs through the field, checking in on the nice horse next to the stream, morning horsey and grabbing a photo of the horse next to this vintage Land Rover Defender in the golden hour light hello come here hello come say hello to me come say hello to me oh my goodness oh hello hello oh my oh my you two are just a bundle and a half of energy <laughs> That's what you get with seven-month-old puppies, I reckon. All right, let's come back in here. Let's come back in here. Trouble times two. Hello, doggy. We're leaving now. Do you care? No, apparently not. Here is the older, more mature doggy of the farm. Goodbye, sheep sisters. See you later. Goodbye, chickens. Saying farewell to my organic alarm clock, which has been waking me up between 6.30 and 7 every morning. <laughs> Goodbye, geese. <laughs> okay, so this is when I got attacked. I said goodbye to the geese and headed back to the car to leave and at some point in this process, I made the mistake of turning my back on that psychotic rooster who then attacked my leg. My lower leg had a puncture hole where he drew blood and then the whole area bruised pretty badly over the next several days. It was actually kind of painful for a while. Sorry, you will not be seeing a photo or video of this. Just take my word for it. This sheep is staring at you because she wants to make sure that you have subscribed. If you have not yet subscribed to Magenta Otter Travels, please click on the little otter logo. Sorry, there's a lot of geese making noise in the background. Bunny the sheep and I would like you to please check out some of our other vlogs. Thanks for watching and do something good in the world today.